Are you new to open water swimming and you're unsure about what type of equipment you'll need to be fully prepared for your open water swimming adventures? Then keep watching this video to find out more. Hi everyone and welcome back to Mike's Dive Store. I'm Lauren and today I'm going to be talking to you about the essential items, the optional items and the items that you might need post swim for all of your open water swimming adventures. So we're here to help you find the right equipment that you need for your open water swimming. So I'm going to be explaining a bit about, a bit more about the types of equipment that you might need and the features that you should be looking out for depending on where you're going to be swimming and what type of swimming you'll be doing. So the most important and the most essential equipment that you'll need for your open water swims are exposure protection, goggles and a swim buoy. So the type of exposure protection that you'll need completely depends on where you'll be swimming to. So if you're swimming in more tropical waters, you might just want a rash vest. Or if you get quite cold, you might want a 2 to 3 millimeter wetsuit. Again, it completely depends on how cold you get in the water. And for those who are swimming in cooler to temperate waters, you might want to invest in a 3 millimeter to a 5 millimeter wetsuit. But again, it also depends on how cold you get in the water. So now onto the goggles. We recommend that you buy goggles if you're more into full exercise or like to go full on with your open water swims. If you wanna do open water swimming that's more leisurely and keeping your head above water, then you may not need goggles. So the next one we find to be the most essential item that you need to use when you're open water swimming and that is a swim boy. So taking a swim boy, we find to be very vital and very essential for many reasons. The biggest reason is so people can see you, especially boats on the surface. Without a boy, people might not be able to see you. So taking a boy may even save your life if you get into trouble when you're swimming in the ocean. Some of these swim boys can even be used as a dry bag so you can take your phone, your keys, your shoes and anything like that so you don't have to leave it on the beach and it gives you peace of mind that your equipment is with you so you don't have to leave it anywhere that is unsupervised. I always take one of these on my swims so it gives me peace of mind so I don't have to leave anything on the beach and it's all with me. So now you know about the most essential items that you need to take when you're open water swimming and here's a few optional extras that you can take depending on the type of swimming that you may be doing. So the optional extras that you can use are fins, gloves, hood, a swim cap and socks. So I'll categorise the gloves, the hood and the socks together as they're for the type of people who would like to swim in cooler waters. These are just the extra protection to keep you warm throughout your open water swimming. So I'd highly recommend investing in these if you get quite cold when you're swimming or if you're, if you're swimming in cooler waters. So fins are great for those who want to travel longer distances quicker and they also give you a great leg workout. So I recommend something with a shorter blade that is designed for snorkeling and open water swimming and here with me today I have the Tusa Sport Fin as these are perfect for open water swimming. Finally, let's talk about the swim cap. So the swim cap is for those who like to go faster and they want to keep the hair out of their face and they want to reduce the, reduce the drag from their hair. Now finally, let's talk about the essential items that you'll need post swimming. My number one recommendation and something that I cannot live without is a changing robe or a fleece. I use the fourth element tidal robe after every swim or every ocean adventure and it warms me up super quickly. Honestly, I can say now that I cannot live without it as it warms me up so quickly and it dries me off so quickly after my swim. And another thing that I recommend that you take for your swim is a flask full of hot water or soup so it warms you up quickly after your swim. I recommend these for more for cooler waters but it depends how cold you get when you swim in. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions about open water swimming or any of the products that we talked about today, please make sure to reach out to us at support at mystyfestore.com also include the link below. This is where we have a team of open water swimming experts here to help you out with any questions that you have. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to keep more up to date on advice, tips and anything open water swim related, please make sure to click the subscribe button below. And make sure to check out our existing playlist for more educational content. And wherever you choose to go to open water swimming and whatever equipment that you decide to go for, make sure you have happy ocean adventures and stay safe.